One of the most recognizable landmarks at Kennedy Space Center is the giant digital display clock located near the news center. The clock was especially made to mark the time to lift off. This clock and the American flag are positioned so that they are featured in every broadcast of a space shuttle launch. The countdown clock and other clocks around the center, including those in the Launch Control Center firing rooms, precisely count down the days, hours, minutes, and seconds leading up to and after spectacular shuttle liftoffs. For a shuttle launch, the countdown, cl uh, countdown clock timing is absolutely critical. We are, in effect, trying to hit an orbiting space station, which is traveling at some 17,500 miles an hour, with a space vehicle. We time the launch countdown to the second. The, the times that are provided to us by Houston Flight uh, and by the Flight Dynamics folks are down to the second, and that's exactly where we try to get it. The clocks are maintained and exactly set by the Kinetic Timing Imaging Technical Support Group. The group is located in the Launch Control Center, a room that dates back to the era of Apollo rocket launches. During launch countdown and pre-flight tests, the timing room is manned 24-7. The group, led by Robert Wright, who is the lead electronic technician, sets and monitors several panels of timer controls. Above the panels are digital clocks that display various times, including the launch window remaining, hold time remaining, the countdown clock time, and Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT time. The timing group receives the countdown and countdown hold signals from the launch processing system in the firing room and redistributes the signals to various users, including the firing rooms, Launch Complex 39, and the Vehicle Assembly Building, among others. Even the Eastern Range and all off-site NASA centers requiring the countdown receive the signals. So there's a triple check on the time to make sure that everything is just so and that we hit it exactly when we should. Timing signals are also sent to a predetermined number of universal camera sites located near and around the launch pads and the Banana Creek viewing site near the Saturn V Center. Uh, for the public, that's how they get the cue that it's about to happen. There's a lot of expectation and there's a lot of preparation and a lot of status going along the way. And the countdown clock will count and it'll hold and it'll count and it'll hold until at the very end when you want it to count all the way through to T0 and start counting up.